my wonderful people you're all welcome back to my channel if you if you are new you are welcome my name is Amara Angie and for my old and returning viewers thank you so much you guys are the best so today my wonderful people I am cooking Nigerian stew so let me show you the things I'll be using to cook Nigerian stew here we have fresh tomato fresh pepper onion garlic and ginger and now, as you can see, I'm blending it. So after this, I will cook it so that the water in this tomato will dry off. For easy blend, I added a little water inside the blender before blending this tomato to help the machine. So now this is the blended tomato. I will cook it so that the water will dry off and the co the real color of tomato will come out. These are the things I will be using to cook stew. This is chicken, grinded tomato. After cooking it to dry out the water. So this is it. Salt, seasoning cube, thyme and curry. Thin tomato, onion, vegetable oil. Let's start. This is this is chicken. I'll be seasoning this chicken with onion, salt, curry, thyme, seasoning cube. And remember, I won't be adding spice. any water inside this pot of chicken. I will allow this chicken to cook to bring out its stock before adding water. This is onion. Some salt. This is curry. Seasoning cube. I will not be adding any water inside this pot because chicken has its own water. Or stock, I will allow it to boil a bit so that the stock will be out before adding water. Remember, I've not added water into this chicken. This is just the stock from the chicken. I will be adding water. And I will allow it to cook for 15 minutes. Fine. I'll be frying this chicken. So, this is seasoning cube. I decided to Spice it up with seasoning cube. It is time for me to start frying the chicken. So this is an empty pot. I want to heat the pot a bit so that the water in it will dry before adding vegetable oil. As you can see, the pot is dry, so I will add vegetable oil. This is vegetable oil. It's always good to add enough vegetable oil inside a stew. It all depends on the quantity of stew you are making. 
I will allow this oil to heat before I start frying the chicken. It is time for me to start cooking this stew. I'll be adding chopped onion. This is chopped onion. I will stir and allow it to fry a bit before adding tomato. Now I'll be pouring blended tomatoes into the pot and allow to cook for about 10 minutes. This is blended tomato with chili fresh pepper garlic ginger and onion i will stir it and allow it to cook for 10 minutes while cooking i will still be stirring it in order not to get points I will add tomato paste. This is tomato paste. After adding, I will stir it and allow it to cook for a few minutes before adding stock from chicken. While it cooks, I will continue to stir it so that it doesn't get burnt. I'll be adding this meat spice. In this, we have curry, thyme, rosemary, and meat spice. Yeah. The flavor of this tea is great. This is stock from chicken. And I'll allow it to cook for 20 minutes before I bring it down. Note, I never used any other water except the stock. I will add seasoning cube. more salt
Mmm, it tastes so delicious. Please, wonderful people, if you find this interesting, do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Chicken. Mm.